Meanwhile, Palestinian solidarity rallies are being held around the world, including in the US. New York in particular marches there led to scuffles with Israel supporters and several arrests were made. On Wednesday, the UN Security Council held a closed-door emergency session on the situation, but no united response was reached, with reports claiming the US blocked a draft. President Biden later said Israel has the right to defend itself, following a phone call with the Israeli PM. Washington had earlier been calling for calm from both sides, saying everyone has a right to safety, words that enraged Israel. We call for restraint and for calm. Israel has the right to defend itself uh, and to respond to rocket attacks. The Palestinian people also have the right to safety and security, just as Israelis do. It is impossible to put in the same message statements by Israeli leaders who call for calm alongside instigators and terrorist organizations that launch missiles and rockets. They're trying to show uh, in a lukewarm way support for Israel, although, as you know, the Biden administration uh, doesn't agree with Israel's approach toward the Palestinians, particularly on the issue of settlements. Uh, and, and it doesn't really want to get involved in the fray. Biden really does not have control over Netanyahu. There, uh, unlike the Trump administration, uh, there was a, a bond there between, but right or wrong, there was a bond, and, 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 and Trump really could control uh, Netanyahu to a point. And, and, of course, the argument would be that Netanyahu could manipulate Trump, and that, that was part of the deal. But you never had a, an outbreak between the Palestinians and, and, uh, and, and Israel during the Trump administration. And that is because the, the, the Trump administration took a far different approach 